Hey everyone, Reed Hendricks with Valor Ridge. I'm doing this video today, it is June 9th, 2016. And it's kind of a dark day for freedom because what just happened today is that the Ninth Circuit Federal Court of Appeals has just ruled that the Second Amendment, and I'll, I'll quote this to you, this is from uh, the majority, writing for the majority, Judge Williams Fletcher. He says, quote, we hold that the Second Amendment does not preserve or protect a right of a member of the general public to carry concealed firearms in public. Let that sink in. And I don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat or some other third party, it doesn't matter. This affects you all. This is one of the darkest days of my life living in this country where a federal judge can rule that a part of the Bill of Rights no longer applies to you. Well, here's what's going on. The Bill of Rights is going to continue to be disrespected. It's going to continue to be torn away from each and every one of us. And for all you people out there that are leftist progressives saying, Yay! I knew it! Yay! We're safer! Let me explain something to you. We're not trying to take away your rights. There's nobody out there trying to take away your First Amendment rights, or your Third, or your Fourth, or your Fifth, or your Sixth, or your Seventh, or your Eighth, or your Ninth. Well, Reed, why don't you say the Tenth? Well, that has to do with the states. I'm not trying to assault anyone's intelligence, but I'm going to tell you something right now. This is a dark day. You people in California and other states affected by this ruling, I would ask that you do this for the entire nation. How you respond to this is going to matter. You people trapped behind enemy lines matter. You gun owners out there, you matter. You matter to each and every one of us. Hear my words very carefully. How you respond to this is going to matter for the rest of the country because the first blows against the Second Amendment have been struck against the whole nation, starting with you. Rather than going to the Dodgers games, or the Angels, or the Clippers, or the Lakers, whatever sports season is in vogue right now, rather than having 70 or 80,000 people cram a, a, a stupid arena of a bunch of, of athletes playing a sport with a ball on a lawn or a ball on a court, why don't you make a special visit to your state capital? Why don't you make a special visit to where this decision took place? We've reached a point where we have to make a decision here. We've reached a point where we have to decide, are we going to let government lawyers with lifetime tenure dictate the Bill of Rights to us so that we can stuff the crumbs of freedom into our mouth or are we going to stand up as armed, sovereign individuals whose forefathers fought and bled at places like Camden and Lexington and Concord and every other revolutionary battlefield so that we could defend ourselves and we could have an individual uh, part of the Bill of Rights known as the Second Amendment? Or are we going to let that go away? You see, I've got a sneaking suspicion that there's a lot of people celebrating this decision right now. I've got a sneaking suspicion that there's a lot of people that are afraid about this right now. And I've got an, another sneaking suspicion that somehow, some way, that the rest of this nation is going to be looking at you. Make no mistake about this, I'm not giving up my firearms. None of my friends are giving up our firearms. I don't care what judges say and I don't care what they do or who they send to knock on my door. It's not going to happen. But how you respond to this in public is going to matter. These justices, these judges, whatever you want to call them, are vile, contemptuous, traitorous, treasonous pieces of filth to this Constitution and every veteran who's ever worn a uniform protecting this country and every other citizen who enjoys the birthright of American freedom. And if you cannot see that right now, and if you're distracted by your TV, and if you're distracted by your sports, and if you're distracted by your weed, or if you're distracted by whatever pills that you're taking, then I feel sorry for you. Because right now, we've got a serious crisis. For my entire adult life, I've done nothing but study history. I've done nothing but study the history of this nation and the individuals who built it, both men and women. I've studied the character of these people, I've studied their intentions, because I've read their personal letters, I've read their journals, I've read Robert Yates' notes on the Constitutional Convention and what the purpose of the Constitutional Convention was. 
and it is unequivocally, without exception, limited government and the protection of individual liberty. The Bill of Rights is individual liberty, and it's what Thomas Jefferson says, it's what every citizen is entitled to against his government. If these judges are not held accountable for their unconstitutional ruling, then it doesn't stop with you. It doesn't stop with the Ninth Circuit. It doesn't stop with any of it. And you're going to wake up one day in a country that you thought you were safe and secure in your freedoms, and you're not even going to be able to see the bars because you've got everything you wanted. Let me share with you not only the opinion of William Blackstone and Richard Woodson, who are the foundation of our legal framework in this country, which I'm sure all those judges are very familiar with in their prestigious law schools. This is a direct quote from Justice Joseph Story who elaborated on this concept. Keep in mind, this is the foundation for our entire legal framework. Here's a direct quote. History shows that in the past, judges have been impeached for not only bribery and treason, but for misleading their sovereign by unconstitutional opinions and for attempts to subvert the fundamental laws and introduce arbitrary power. Unconstitutional opinions, okay. It is without any hesitation whatsoever that the Second Amendment is an individual right to keep and bear arms. And yes, people carried concealed firearms back then. They carried open firearms as well. I don't care how people carry it. They carried their firearms back then. Where do you think our founding fathers got their firearms? From British charity? Do you, do you think that they were somehow given guns uh, on some welfare program? They already had their guns. That was an individual ownership of it. And they carried it, yes, in public, Judge Fletcher. But I'm sure you haven't read your history before, have you? This is also a special shout out to the Attorney General of California, Ms. Kamala Harris, who I'm sure is an instrumental part of this entire thing. You have no idea what you've done, because if you had, you wouldn't have done it. Because what you're going to see right now is the amount of freedom in this country that these citizens are going to demand. And we are not going to back down, and we are not giving up our guns, and we are not going to ever stop training, and we're never going to ever put ourselves under a heel of a despotic piece of shit like you. This is Reed Hendricks of Valor Ridge reminding you, the lessons that we learn are written on the tombstones of others. We'll see you on the ridge.